The built-in titles and transitions in DaVinci Resolve are great, but you'll probably end up wanting to add third-party assets to DaVinci Resolve eventually for more creative projects. But wait, how do you install titles and transitions in DaVinci Resolve? And once you add them, can you customize them? Well, the process to install them isn't that straightforward, but it's also actually super easy. And this also works for PC and Mac, so it doesn't matter what you're using DaVinci Resolve on, it should be all the same. Also, a huge thank you to Motion Array for sponsoring this video. If you're interested in amazing third-party assets for Final Cut Pro, DaVinci Resolve, and many other editing softwares out there, I would definitely stick around to the end of the video. Installing transitions is actually probably the easiest thing possible, depending on the type of transition you have. And most transitions that are built into DaVinci Resolve, the ones where you just drag and drop them, are a .drfx file. So all you have to do is find a transitions pack. And for me, I'm just gonna go on Motion Array, go to Presets, DaVinci Resolve Macros, and then go over here to transitions. And honestly, these morph transitions look super sweet. So I'm just gonna go and download these really quick. So once you have your transition pack downloaded, you're gonna want to open it up and go into the folder. And inside the folder, you should see a .drfx file. And all you have to do is click on that file. It's gonna ask you if you want to install it. I actually already had it installed, so I'm just gonna click overwrite. But if you don't have the transitions right here, it will say install. And once you do that, you're gonna go over to effects and then go to video transition. Transitions. Click on the drop down menu right here and you should see a folder with your transitions that you just installed. And for me, it's the Power Morph transitions. So I'm going to go ahead and drag the Power Morph TR02 in between these two right here. Honestly, that looks great, but there's still a lot more you can customize in transitions, well, at least third-party transitions inside of DaVinci Resolve. All you have to do is click on the transition itself, go over here to the Inspector tab, and then you should see a bunch of different controls for the transition. And let's just say that I don't want this to be pink and white. Maybe I want it to be orange and blue. So I can change the color from pink to a more dark orange. And then the inside color, let's maybe make that blue gives it more of maybe a tropical vibe there's this blocky part of the transition that I don't really like so I'm just gonna turn that off and you can also toggle it off right here and I'm gonna turn up the shake randomness to give it more of a natural look let's see what it looks like find a transition pack online and it has a .drfx file, all you have to do is click that file and you should be good to go and they should be in DaVinci Resolve. If you run into a situation like this where this pack also has a folder with a dot setting file inside of it, all you have to do is take that folder, make sure to copy it, and then go into Fusion, go to Effects, right here where it says Templates, go to Edit, right click, and click show folder. And you should see an edit folder with a titles and transition folder. If you don't see either one of those, go ahead and create each of these folders, titles and transitions, and make sure to capitalize the T in both of those. Inside of that transitions folder, you can take that folder from, in my case, Power Morph Transitions. I can just copy it or drag it over to this transitions folder, and it should do the same exact thing as installing the .drfx file. So now with titles, and at least in my case when using Motion Array, all of the title packs that I've downloaded go through this same process. So I'm just gonna go on Motion Array again and find a pack of titles for DaVinci Resolve. These are looking good, so I'm gonna download those now. Once they've downloaded, you're gonna wanna go in and open the folder. In my case, this is called Typo Pack, and you're gonna see two things in the folder. You're gonna see a fonts folder and then a macro folder. What you're gonna want to do first is always install the font that comes with the title pack, because if not, DaVinci Resolve won't be able to display or preview the title if you don't have the font currently installed on your computer. So I always like to go into the fonts folder first, and usually they'll either have the font itself or a link to the font. All you have to do is if you have the link, just follow that link and then download it and you should be good to go. Once that's done downloading, you're gonna to want to go back into the folder and you're gonna see a folder that's labeled either macro or maybe the title of the title pack itself. And inside of that folder should be all of the titles that you need to install. So what I like to do is instead of it being called macro, I'll just rename it whatever the title pack was. And in this case, it was kinetic typography. And all you have to do is copy that folder Go into DaVinci Resolve, go to Fusion, Effects, Templates, click the drop down menu, go to Edit, right click, Show Folder, and go inside of the Titles folder and just drag and drop or copy and paste. Then go back into DaVinci, 
go to the edit tab, go to titles, and there should be a drop down arrow and you should see the folder with all of your new titles inside of it. And if you did install the font properly, you should be able to preview what the title is going to look like. So I'm just gonna pretend that I'm making a beverage commercial and I'm just gonna take this clip right here that I speed ramped and I want it at the end to say fresh. So I'm gonna find a title that looks the best for this scenario. Let's go with this one. So I'm gonna change a few things about the title and I'm gonna go into the inspector tab. Instead of it saying kinetic titles, I'm just gonna make it say fresh. And let's see what it looks like at the end. It's looking a little small, so I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger to sort of fill the screen. And then I'm going to bring it down just a little bit to be in the middle. And I'm gonna now change the color to sort of blend in with the footage. And it looks like there's some green in the lime and I wanna kind of bring that out in the title itself. So I'll use the color picker and I'm gonna actually use the same color as the lime. And that looks good. It sort of complements the footage. And I'll go ahead and do that with actually all of the other parts of the title. <laughs> And if you ever have any issues with your timeline slowing down due to titles, what I like to do is go to render cache and then instead of none, just click it to smart or user. I like to start with smart first. And what that will do is this blue or red line will pop up in your timeline. And every single time you play that clip, it'll add it to the render cache, making it run a lot smoother the next time you play it. So now you should be able to install as many third-party transitions and titles as you possibly could imagine, but wait, where do you get amazing third-party assets? Well, Motion Ray has you covered. And listen, I don't blame you for clicking off right now. Ads and sponsors, they're boring, I get it. But if you are a serious creator or a video professional, at some point you're going to need third-party assets for your creative endeavors or professional projects. Plus the included assets in most software Softwares just don't cut it and instead of buying each asset individually, Motion Array is a subscription-based service with thousands of creative assets for DaVinci Resolve, Final Cut Pro, Adobe Premiere Pro, and even After Effects. Motion Array has a lot of different high-quality assets. For example, they have video templates, stock footage, photos, royalty-free music, sound effects, titles, transitions, overlays, motion graphics, icons, the list goes on and on. I've actually been using Motion Ray for three or four years now for a professional creative career as well as now on YouTube and I always have them in my back pocket if I need a specific title, maybe a piece of stock footage, or even music and sound effects. And there are no additional fees, your subscription covers it all. It's also really easy to use. Motion Array has a great filter system to where you can find a specific title or transition or if you just want to browse to get inspired. And each asset comes with a step-by-step -step guide so you don't even need me or this video. Even better, you can try it for free. You won't get access to everything, of course, but you will get hundreds of assets to try out for free. And if that wasn't enough, they have their own powerful plugin that has over 50 creative assets and plugins to download right into your editing software. From color grading to keying, sharpening to stylizing, these are high quality plugins to help you power up your edits. So if you want to check out Motion Array yourself, you can visit my link in the description where you can save $50 off a yearly subscription. Let me help you help me help you because using my affiliate link obviously supports the channel, but it helps you save that money. So go check it out. Huge thank you to Motion Array for sponsoring this video. And also thank you guys so much for watching and supporting the channel. If you have any issues with downloading or installing titles, make sure to leave that in the comments below and I'll try to get to you with any help I can. We have a lot of cool stuff coming up in the future, not just video editing content, but also desk setup content and many more things coming in the future. So make sure to subscribe and like the video, share it with your friends, your mom, your grandma, grandpa, anybody, just share it with them and tell them I said, hey. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.